Hey guys, what's up? It's Dustin and I'm back with another unboxing video. So today we're actually going to be comparing two boxes. We have the uh, Geek Gear Wizardry box and we have the uh, Loot Crate Wizarding World box. I was very surprised when this thing showed up. I thought I canceled this three times ago, but um, I guess I just never pay attention to the fact that I'm being charged and lo and behold, we got it again. So uh, we'll see what's in there. I think I have finally got it canceled. Um, I've done my last Loot Crate box video like four times. So in theory, this is the last time I will be unboxing the Loot Crate box until I decide to resubscribe. Um, it did come on time, so that's a positive um, and, and unexpected because I just didn't think I was going to get it. And this is the January um, Geek Gear box. So it also came on time. I just didn't get to unbox. I think it's January. Might be February. I'm not sure. We'll look at it when we get in there. Um, I just, I've had it for a few days. I normally unbox them as soon as I get them. But with the other box we were sending out, my office was a disaster. So I just haven't had time. So without further ado, uh, I'll go ahead and get in here. I will say that they do not send these to me. I buy them. So you'll get a completely honest review on everything in here. Um, I do cut the sticker simply because you can't pull it off without destroying the box and destroying the sticker, so there's really no point. But when we open it up, this is what it looks like. They have done away with their tissue paper, it seems like, so uh, we never get tissue paper in these. It doesn't look like there is much in here, to be honest, but we will set the shirt to the side and go at it from there. So the first thing... I see is like this medically packaged, really like it is in there. Um, it is a Gryffindor picnic travel mat. I have no idea what that is. It looks like maybe it's just a mat that you sit on the ground. And I'll tell you, when I cut this open, it really like a release there. So, um, what it does, it says it's a Gryffindor picnic travel mat. We will see what that actually means. It's got Velcro on it. And yeah, it's just a mat that you would, um, I guess, take on a picnic. And it's got a big lion on it. So I will put a better picture of this in the video as per usual. But it is... I mean, it's actually not a bad item for, I mean, you don't have to take it on a picnic. You could use it as a backdrop. Uh, you can see there where the lion's mouth opens, it's got a big G. So, all in all, not a terrible item. Not a terrible item at all. The next thing we see here is their pin. Uh, I think they're on a, a magical creatures kick right now. Um, so we had, I think... I think I know what this is because I, I heard people talking, or I saw people talking about it in a group. I'm pretty sure it's a Thistral, but it is. So, uh, it's not a bad pen. It is a blue, like, shimmery color there, if you can see that. Uh, not a bad pen at all. Um, it's kind of odd that it's blue because they're usually black. Uh, so, there's that. Um, something I didn't catch in their last video with the Phoenix they spelled Phoenix wrong. Uh, someone pointed that out to me, and I thought that was a little amusing that no one caught that. Um, we have another item here that <laughs> is actually something that might go to my wife. Um, it is a <laughs> spec of specs, like sleeping mask. Or, I don't know if that's actually what it's called. It doesn't say. Um, but yeah, it's like what you would wear to block out. I'm going to actually put this thing on for you guys. Um, I will see what I look like when I edit the video. But uh, it's not comfortable. It's probably because I have a big head and it's really tight. But uh, I mean, maybe my wife will use this. I don't know. Um, a for effort, I guess. But... So there's that. And then the last thing is a travel sticker set. Uh, Crimes of Grindelwald travel sticker set. So. Okay, 
so the first one is just Hogwarts. So you can see the castle there, and the top just says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The next one is, um, so in Crimes of Grindelwald 2, if you haven't seen it, a couple of years, uh, when Grindelwald is escaping, it looks like where they went to pick him up. They were, um, they were taking him away in the carriage with the Thestrals. I think that's that scene. This is the uh, Makuza sticker. So the uh, American Ministry. Uh, I don't know. It says Voyage A Paris. So I'm not really sure what that one is. Next we have the You got me. I don't know what that's it. So maybe it's just the, all the different kinds of ministry. Because I can't read this one either. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. But that is actually all <coughs> there is in this box. Sad thing. That's uh, one, two, three, four things. Um, the thing with Loot Crate is they're all pretty good quality. They're all pretty much licensed. And the saddest thing is all of their boxes change into something. So it looks like this one is... Um, it looks like it's a map to all the different uh, Wizarding Schools. I'm not going to put this together because it's super loud. Um, but I guess that's probably where the stickers come in. It would probably take you around that. Um, but with them, we got four items. Now, granted, one of them was pretty large in the uh, picnic mat. Oh, wait. No, we have a shirt. We have five items. I apologize. So we will go ahead and see what it is. So that is what it looks like. It is... I mean, it looks like the Ministry of Magic symbol, but I don't think it is. Yeah, no, it's the Ministry of Magic symbol. Um, so, and then on the back, you also you have like the the visitor pass you get. Um, I'm gonna look at the spoiler card just to see what we got going on here. That it's a very comfortable shirt. It's super soft. Um, so, Ministry of Magic visitor T-shirt, the Hogwarts house travel mat, Luna Lovegood sleep mask. Uh, Wizarding World location sticker set, so that's what that was, and then the Thestral pin. Um, the rest of the travel mats are there. The Slytherin one actually looks pretty cool. I uh, have no qualms there, but obviously with the Gryffindor, I'm happy that I got the Gryffindor one. It looks like there's also a pouch uh, wrapped up in there somewhere. So that is all we have for the loot crate. Um, not bad items, but again, it's just, it's limited as to what you get, um, and I, I'm not going to use most of that. So, moving on to the Loot Crate box. No, Geek Gear box. Sorry, it's been a long week. Um, so when we open it, we get the iconic red tissue paper. I've actually read this already. It is, um, I saw it in one of my my uh, Harry Potter subscription box groups that I have. And it's odd that they did this. So it says, our boxes are changing for the better. We apologize if people felt like we had lagged in our uh, personalized and handcrafted charm the way we started back in 2016. From our, uh, from our February box onward, we are changing our boxes, our packaging, and our content. Expect only the highest quality products with unique and cute packaging. Expect handcrafted original artwork and so much more. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber um, from your Geek Gear team. I wouldn't have sent this and said, hey, I know we've been doing a bad job, but we're going to do better. Um, I just would have done better and let that speak for itself. Uh, so, eh, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this. I hope they do better. Uh, we generally get quite a few items from them. I saw some reviews on this box, uh, and they didn't seem to be that great. But um, hopefully when they switch, we don't start getting less items 
uh, because they're doing something different. So I put the shirt to the side and then the first thing we see here is a little box and some bubble wrap. And, well, that's actually kind of cool. It is like a chocolate frog. I mean, I'm assuming that's like supposed to be of what comes out. Uh, but it's like a medallion on a huge necklace. So there's that. I wouldn't wear it around, uh, but it's not a bad item. Um, next, this says Snowy Owl. So I'm going to be kind of upset if they've stuck Hedwig in here and then I've left Hedwig in this box for a week. And that's exactly what happened. Sad day. Uh, except for it doesn't look like Hedwig at all. Um, this is heavy. I'm going to take it off. Alright. <clears throat> so, this is a little owl. That's a cool item. I actually saw something similar to this. Um, very similar to this on uh, the internet when I was looking for something for a different box. Uh, so I, th <laughs> I think I know where they got this at because uh, it almost ended up in the box that I sent out. So I don't, I don't dislike it because I almost did it myself. But we will find a spot for them up there on the shelf for moving forward. The next thing we see here is an enamel pin, which is like a Christmas themed Hedwig. So, um, or a Christmas themed owl, rather. Their pins are always pretty good quality, no complaints there. Um, I think this box was Magical Travel, possibly. Um, I'm really bad with remembering what the actual theme is. I don't even remember what the month is on this box. January 2019. So we did get this in January. I just haven't had a chance to unbox it. So um, my apologies to Hedwig for keeping her in that box for so long. All right. So the next thing we see here is a wizardry cushion cover. We've gotten several of these from them. Uh, one of them was house specific, and I, uh, the other one was like a Death Eater thing. This one is just kind of a bunch of stuff. <coughs> I don't ever use them because my wife pretty much limits my Harry Potter stuff to my office, or else I would take over the entire house. So that is what it looks like right there. You just see the lightning bolt, the badger, the snake, the lion, um, the eagle, and then you've got the owls down here and the glasses. So it's not bad. Uh, I just I just don't use them. Next, we have Love Potion Tea. Um, ingredients: hibiscus, apple pieces, rose nips, rose ni rose. Rose hip shells? I don't know. Citrus peel, flavoring, raspberry pieces, uh, allergy advice, see the ingredients in bold. Well, what's weird is there's no ingredients in bold. So, um, I guess we don't have to worry about it. Uh, so this is what it looks like on the packaging. There's another box that sends out tea very similar to this. Um, very similar packaging, uh, so there's that. We're kind of walking borderline there. Uh, I also saw, I actually got a pink print in this that was supposed to be a shirt in the last box, and uh, it said it was a Geek Gear exclusive, and then Box Lunch, I think, has the exact same print on a pink t-shirt. So uh, it seems to be kind of a, a common theme with subscription boxes to Still people's stuff. All right. So then, of course, this is what we have. We have the Deathly Hallows um, symbol here. Up here at the top, it says the Three Brothers. It has the Deathly Hallows symbol. Um, power, humanity, and longing. Um, overall, it's a pretty cool print. It's definitely one of the better prints that we've got from them. You see the cloak. You see the wand back here. It actually has, like, the Elder Wand on there. Um, you see there's the cloak and there's the stone so uh, not a bad print at all they generally do have pretty good shirts and pretty good prints 
no complaints there. Uh, and this is one of the boxes that I'll probably be sticking with, especially if they're switching back to kind of what they did before. But let's see here. Um, so we're going to put the stuff to the side. And then we got the shirt, and then we're done. So this is what the shirt looks like. It is a, obviously it's a white shirt with a, just a Hogwarts outline. You see the Quidditch uh, hoops in the back. Um, not a bad shirt at all. It's a, I mean, it's kind of cartoony with the clouds and things like that. Um, but I don't love it and I don't hate it. It's, it's okay. And that is the last thing in this box. So if we look at this box compared to the other box, we have the pin, the frog medallion, the print, the shirt, the tee, the cushion cover, and then the neglected, uh, the neglected little owl. So out of the two, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items from Geek Gear. Um, and we got five items from Loot Crate. So, uh, this is, it says the necklace is an exclusive wizardry necklace. The thing is humongous. Uh, the exclusive owl plush. Well, it's not a plush though, it's hard. Like a plush, I would think it was like plushy. Plushy. Um, but this is not exclusive. I saw this. I may put a link to this in the video because this was not made for them um so that's odd uh we have the love potion we have the wizardry cushion we have the print we have the uh festive alpin and then we have the shirt so they always put prices on theirs com you know compared to some of the other ones don't so they have their necklace at 9.99 um their <laughs> their exclusive owl plush at $7.99, the Love Potion at $4.99, the Cushion at $11.99, which is a little reaching if you're if you're asking me, uh, but they're not, so I guess that doesn't really matter. Um, the Deathly Hallows print, and then the uh, they have that at $4.99, and they have the pin at $4.99, and the shirt at $11.99. So the value is what you make it. Uh, you definitely get more in this box. Um, and it is actually cheaper than the other box where you only got five items. But if you look through and price their items, they're going to probably price those a little bit higher because they're all exclusive, legit Harry Potter things. So uh, it's kind of which way you want to go on that. If you want the exclusive items or if you're cool with the not exactly exclusive, but you know what it is. Except for this is not Hedwig. I mean, this they may have been going for Pigwidgeon. I don't really know. But Pig Widgeon wasn't a snowy owl. Uh, or a plush. I don't get it. But, um, so out of the two, which do I prefer? The one I haven't tried to cancel the subscription on seven times, uh, if we're being honest. So, um, I definitely prefer uh, Geek Gear over Loot Crate. Uh, it's just a personal preference. Everyone, everyone has their own. So, um, if I see that Loot Crate is doing great things in the future, I may, I may resubscribe to that. Um, if you follow my channel, you know that I actually started my own subscription box, but I'm still going to get the boxes that I like because I mean, they think of things that I don't. Uh, so I'm definitely keeping um, Geek Gear, and I'm definitely keeping my Accio subscription because I really like what they do as well. So... Um, that's about all I have for tonight. Let me know what you thought. Let me know which one you prefer. Are you a Geek Gear person? Are you a Loot Crate person? Or does it just vary in the boxes? So, uh, check out the comments, or sorry, check out the description. I will leave a link to the uh, Harry Potter Facebook, or Harry Potter Subscription Box Facebook group that I have. Uh, feel free to join that. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know, Geek Gear or Loot Crate. I'll see you guys next time.